camera I just had a mental moment I don't know all right starting off a little bit differently here but doing things right <laughs> I have uh, what I've done so far <clears throat> is I measured my hard oils melted them in the microwave I didn't measure them because I have them made up in the fridge um, added my soft oils uh, mix them together split them off into even batches in this one I have added my goat's milk my clay and my lye in that one obviously it's just oils these are exactly half and half now I'm going to try a new shaper that I made the other day uh, hopefully by the time you see this I will have either refined it or it will be up for sale either way yeah, I'm sweating <sighs> just <laughs> I don't know why, it's like 21 degrees, it's really not that hot, but you're on my old and having hot flushes, I guess. <laughs> right, so, the shaper. Oh, where did I put it on there? Is this? I'll do it that way. Uh, it's, I made it to resemble paint trips, obviously, as you can not see, because the shiver thing will not focus. There you go, you just focus. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, so there you go. So I'm thinking that the drips might be a little bit too close together, um, hence why I'm being extra careful and I'm testing. So uh, this is the pastel blue, isn't it beautiful? Um, I also have some shaper clips, which should the website and everything should be available uh, by the time you watch this video. But phew, who knows? Get a mold. Now what I want to do before I start doing too much of anything is I want to judge some gold mica in the bottom there. Ah oh, well, should be right. I want to judge how high I want this. So I'm going to actually actually uh, yeah, no. Yep, that's the way I want it. Alright, so I want it about there. So this is how you use your shapers, right? So you judge pretty much where you want it in the mould. And then you slide your shaper on that side. And then you slide your shaper on on that side. And then you drag it down the mould. And it holds it at that position. Like if you push too hard on these things, they're going to move, right? If you just... Put it in your mould, that's actually probably not straight anymore. <laughs> Get away fruit fly. And then just slide, it's fine. If you push down too hard on them, they're going to fail. So just be aware of that. But yeah, that's that's all they are, just little shapers. So alright, let's get this started. Now I'm going to do pink and orange. I don't know why, and I'm using uh, red berry citrus, that's why I'm using pink and orange. I didn't even realise that I had done that. I was just wanted to make a pink and orange soap. Huh, there you go. There you go. That's a little dangerous there. That's <laughs> I feel like I'm in a saloon from the old days. A saloon. These buckets are pretty awesome. These uh, I got caustic soda in these um, from Catch, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was catch.com.au. Uh, just when it was really hard to get from Coles or anywhere. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not so bad now. I think Coles have it at the moment. So. Yes, alright, um, I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put orange in the bottom. And I haven't mixed these up in oil because I'm just going to mix them up with a stick blender. But yeah, I have just halved everything, basically. So, it's a really easy way to do it. But I just thought I would try and do this properly for a change. <laughs> just, you know, for a change. I like the colour. 
Okay, so we will take this out and then we will see what the fragrance does. I don't know if we're going to need that. Make sure I've got the corners of my jug, which I have. Clean up the mess. Pop you over there because we can use you for zipping. Hmm, it smells nice, this fragrance. Um, it's got <clears throat> no vanillin, but it's got 0.8% of ethyl vanillin, so it may discolour. Um, it says it's fruity, tart, and so so summery. It's actually, you get berry and you get citrus. It's that simple. That's about half. It's just nice. It's, it's nothing, it doesn't, it's not extra fancy it's not it's not icky it's just nice I quite like it it is definitely something that I would use again uh, Aussie candle supplies yes I actually think it would make a really nice candle to be honest it's um it's similar to something uh, I can't think what it is but it's definitely similar to another fragrance. This is behaving so well that I may possibly have to stick blend it. <laughs> oh my god, why does this happen? Yep, this is a really well behaved fragrance guys. If you want to do um, nice wispy drop swirls, this would be the one to do it in. I could have made up the whole batch with this. Not a problem. So I'm actually going to have to stick blend that to make it thicker. <laughs> Oh, first world problems here. So there's the other thing too, because this is not a tested shaper, I don't quite know how thick it needs to be. Like the other ones were fairly easy to tell because of the shape of them, because this one is a lot more detailed. Like even the wavy lines and the curvy lines and that, they're not... They don't have as much detail. Give that a little bit more. I don't want to stick blend it too much, but I also don't want to have it too loose, which I think it still is, honestly. It's hard to tell. I think it's definitely too loose. <laughs> wow, this whole video is going to be you watching me stick blend. That's it. That'll be exciting, won't it? So the markets start again, it's um, the 10th of July right now I think, um, something like that, it's the start of July and they have said that they're going to have the markets here next month, so that's in two weeks, um, like no, not doing it, not doing it, I'm going to have stick blend this more, <laughs> sorry guys. Yeah, I mean, this whole thing that's going on down in Melbourne at the moment, um, they already know that there's cases that have come out of Victoria. So if we don't get like a super, super, super big second wave, I'll be terribly surprised. So I'm just, at this point, I'm not willing to risk it. Like, you, I don't understand how you could possibly social distance at a friggin market like you know see here in Australia our our Centrelink our um, unemployment benefits are really good so it's not like I mean Centrelink are a bunch of incompetent twits but you know I mean if you rely on the markets to make your money you could go on Centrelink and you won't starve, right? So, <clears throat> while I'm not saying, you know, that people don't rely on markets for money, that's fine, but I mean, is it really worth spreading this disease? Ah, oh, spreading the disease. Now, that's a good anthrax song. Alright, so she has to go a little bit deeper. Alright, a little bit deeper. 
There we go. All right. So that's the height exactly that I needed at. Now I'm terrified. <laughs> uh, I'm no good with these things, guys. You know this. Yeah, so this is what I was worried about. Is it's it's a very detailed stamp. So and it's gonna require a lot of a lot of moved soap. So I think what I might do is I might revise this one and I might do less drips on it so that there's more space between them. I think it's going to look fantastic. I must admit, I do honestly think this is going to look really, really good, but I just think it might be a little hard for less experienced people to use because you can see what I'm having to do to use it. So I don't know if anyone's willing to do that for a bit more detailed stamp or not. So, I don't know, you guys tell me, do you want more detailed stamps? Um, or do you want ones that are just easy? Oh, I can't do that. I can. Actually, I can just go, yep, that's right. Let's go back that way. I'm just trying to push it so that it's fairly even. Yeah, let me know what you think. Do you want ones that are easier to use and less detailed, or do you want a couple that are that are harder to use but are more detailed? So, you know, I mean, there's no reason why I can't have some shapers that aren't going to sell to everybody. I mean, I don't think there's any need for every shaper to be used by everybody. So, you know... But you guys, you have to tell me, because I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making the damn things, and I'm not using them particularly well. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I don't know. This is not what I envisioned. But... Nothing ever is. <laughs> Nothing ever is as I envision it. I do think, however, that it's going to work out quite nice. I'm just a bit worried about this end. Like, it just seems to keep filling back in. So, but that looks pretty good. And the clips have held up quite well. I was, I was, didn't even consider them as I was doing it. I was just scraping it along the soap, so no, I wasn't really giving them any thought at all. So, but I think that's pretty good. I don't think I can do it any better than that. See, I'm what I'm worried about mostly is this big one here like that's really deep now I don't know if when I pour this second layer in although this is going to be nice and fluid I don't know whether it's going to get down in there and I also have to make sure that this is really set up to um to make sure it doesn't move that at all so I just yeah I'm just wondering if these aren't just a little too small. I could make a second one. See, this is the thing with a lot of them. I've made ones that are a bit smaller and ones that are a bit bigger. And that seems to have worked quite well, quite well with the others. So maybe that's what I need to do with this one as well. This is why I bought it out to test. Because this is the only one out of all the ones that I have made that I was a little worried about. All the others I was like, yeah, they'll work, no worries. And... The ones that I've tried so far have all worked. I just am useless. <laughs> now, um, oh, see, I don't want to... I'm terrified I'm going to make a mistake here now. I'm just getting some of this orange out of the sides. Because this... See, this is not going to work. 
I've taken so much out of here that when I put this in there it's not going to go all the way to the top and this will have set up by then so so I'm not going to be able to put it on the top which would look weird anyway <sighs> this is what goes on in my brain I'm just saying out loud what's going on in my brain I also don't know if that's set up enough to um, uh, to pour that in. I suppose it, it, if it's fairly liquid, if I sort of yeah, we will. I just I'm just terrified. <laughs> I'm just terrified. Look, doesn't matter if it doesn't work, does it? Now. Um, I've said this before, I'll say it again, I'll say it every time I use a shaper in a video. Um, the best way to clean these, as you can see, I've just wiped this off with a paper towel to get most of it off. Um, I'm going to just put that aside with the <sighs> fruit fly, with the dirty bowls um, like I do and leave it and wash it up in cold water. You can't put them in hot water because they're PLA which is polylactic acid which is basically um, plastic made from uh, cornstarch so they're environmentally friendly by the way um, so it's not plastic like this um, yeah and just leave them and then just soak them in water like I do with all the bowls and that tomorrow when it's um, saponified and soap and then they just wash off like soap does that's it, that's it. That's, that's, you just wash them up like you do your soap bowls but like I said no hot water no um, dishwasher all right let's do i'll do this the second one i'm going to turn the video off and i'll get this all mixed up and ready to go and then we'll come back and do this scary second layer <laughs> hulkly dokly i was back <laughs> i probably could have um stick blended this before i come back couldn't i <laughs> well that would require a brain working actually while i was mixing these two is the emotions let me put in the color. I do like this color pretty much. Apparently, I am now French. It's French for your plate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the orange was tan yellow, the pink is blush. Just because I don't think I mentioned that before. <laughs> that seems to be all nice and mixed. <laughs> Just do the stop. Apparently, I'm black pink now. Just call me Jenny. Actually, call me Rose. It's better. <laughs> Jenny's kind of, you know, it's just a regular name. Rose is a little different. Everyone who is doesn't know anything about K-pop is like, what the hell is she talking about? <sighs> there is a K-pop group, girl group called Blackpink, and they're fabulous. And one of the girls' names is Jenny, and one of the girls' names is Rose. That's what I am babbling on about. Now, I am not going to stick blend that at all. I am going to blend this by hand so it is beautiful. And I'm just going to stop with the weird voices because it's just creeping me out. So I can't imagine what it's doing to you guys. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's lovely and fluid. Just make sure it's all incorporated and really nice. This really is a lovely fragrance, it's playing so well. I just hope it doesn't discolour too much, so. It's 0 0.8, with, and ethyl vanillin's kind of one of those, it, I don't know, it's, it's an unknown. It, that's exactly what it is, it's an unknown. So I'm going to spore this on the patula. Jesus. I'm going to pour this on the spatula. I really should edit my videos and then I would sound less like a complete idiot. But, you know, I edit them. I just don't edit out the stupidity. Because, you know, it makes me laugh when I'm editing. So I figure it probably makes you guys laugh. Oh, I'm terrified. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Oh, it's going in there. It went in there. I saw it go in there. Oh, it's going. Oh, 
guys, this might actually work. I might have done something right for a change. I've just jinxed it now. That's it. <laughs> Completely jinxed it. It'll just be a big giant hole. <laughs> oh dear. Whatever. If it's a big giant hole, it'll be a feature. <laughs> how that soap is going over there this hasn't been that long I mean I went straight off camera and mixed this up and then come back so it was only you know a couple of minutes tops so it's just I wonder oh if I could have less slippery hands I could probably have less slippery hands but I want to bang this down but I kind of don't as well I'll give it a little smack. Like it's been naughty. Oh, they ain't allowed to do that anymore. So, God forbid you discipline your children. No, it's too much. I was going to say, I might put this on. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pipe it. Oh, that's a perfect consistency for piping. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I need a big bag. Da, 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 da. might actually go right. Oh, I think maybe I've cut the bag a bit too big though. <laughs> it's possible I've cut the bag too big. Or oh, now because I'm rushing around. Oh, oh no. Well, wow, bugger me. Oh, that's... Ah, she'll be right. She'll be right, mate. Could I be more Aussie? No, no, I could not. I could not be more Aussie right now. Should be right and yeah, nah. That means no, by the way. For those of you who are unaware, yeah, nah means no. So when we say no mean, means no, we also say yeah, nah means no. <laughs> so if someone propositions you, you can say yeah, nah, and that means no. <laughs> We're an old bunch. Oh dear. Oh. We are definitely an odd bunch. We do say the weirdest things. But I would not have it any other way. I don't want to be. I oh, see, that's the thing. Look, I don't think any nationality is generic. I think each nationality is their own like you know I mean can, I mean can you go past a gorgeous Irish accent or a Welsh accent or you know like like a southern Creole accent I mean these are some of the nicest things I've ever heard <laughs> so you know and you know different nationalities have also bought us different sorts of foods and you know I think if we were all the same generic sort of things, things, <laughs> you know, I, I think the world would be a, as not a good a place. But I think we also need to recognise that we are all just humans, you know. Well, that's my little high horse for the day. That's as, that's as high as it's getting. I had my, I had my big friggin spit before about um, what's going on in Melbourne at the moment and people dodging the cops to, so they can just do stupid shit. I've done that today so. Alright. Perfect. Um, I have no <laughs> shite. Absolute shite that is. No markers. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Bloody, bloody. We say bloody a lot in this country. I know that. Bloody hell, mate. Bloody hell. I do not know why. Oh, 
Oh, thank God the lid was on that. I just knocked a, a little jar of hug beets on the floor. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, I hate this ruler. I say that every time. So let's go there. So two, five, seven feet, ten, twelve, fifteen, seventeen feet, twenty. Oh, what next? What's next? Oh my God, brain, you are you are embarrassing me right now. Wow, I'm so sorry. Party pigeons in the house. All right. So, um, what we might do, what we might do, is chuck those in there, put those over there, hang on, hang on, just get organised, oh, I've got the lie over here and everything, Ooh, where is it, ah, there it is, <sighs> hello, <laughs> it's back, Actually, let's do it that way, because that just makes me happy. Actually, let's do it that way because that makes me even happier because the pink and the purple are over here and red's an angry colour. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so. So, I have Jaffa, which is obviously orange. Um, that one will do. I'll put that over on this side. It looks like sugar almost. Oh, I wish it looked like sugar. Because <laughs> you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I don't mean the sugar they eat. I mean sugar that's in BTS. Because <laughs> he's adorable. I like everyone in BTS except for Jin. I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. Don't come for me. Please, Jin fans. I just, I don't know. I just find him a little generic. And, you know, I did say I'm not a fan of generic. I don't know. I just like, I just find the others to be, I don't know. I just not a fan of Jin. That's not to say that I, I don't, I'm, you know, I kind of think he's amazing that like he doesn't come from a music background he was scouted on the street and you know he and he's tried really hard to become a, a good dancer for the group and you know so you know i like him for that i just i don't know he's just yeah he's just you the rest of them are all excessively talented I guess Jin's talent is he has never given up and he's always tried his very best and that in itself is a talent, so that's me. <laughs> I show, I'm Jin. I'm not overly good at any one thing, but I don't give up. <laughs> I try really hard. Just not for everybody else, just for me. So I feel that needs something else. Because you know, because insides might be friggin' amazing. Inside will be screwed, you watch. No, no, leave it alone, leave it, leave it alone. This will do, this will do. It's very nice, come up, bring it up, have a look. Wait, there we go. Focus, are you focused? Are you focused on my hand? There we go, that bloody microphone. <laughs> every time, every time. All right, awesome. There you go, she's beautiful. Um. Fingers crossed for the inside. I'll be super excited to see this one tomorrow. This like, I mean, I'm always excited to cut a soap, but this is just like super extra awesome, fabulous. All right, that was an extra 16 minutes. Woo. After, oh no, the battery ran out, didn't it? All right, my my lovely subscribers, thank you very much for joining me once again. I will see you for the cutting. Ta-da! Yellow. Now I don't know if um 
my sense of smell is just off today or what this is not just neither one of these soaps are particularly strong today so uh, I was pretty sick yesterday um, I, I don't know if it felt like a migraine so I don't know whether it was sinus or a migraine it's more migraine than sinus but um, so I don't know whether I'm just recovering from that or not but it's not very strong. Oh Christ, I know what this soap is. Oh my God, now I'm super excited. I'm like, why is I excited about this? It's really boring. Now I remember because I can see this. I can see this. Oh, no, I'll keep your fingers crossed. I've, re I've made another one. What I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this one, this shaper, and I've also made one with bigger loops in it. So you'll have bigger drips and I'm just going to have both of them. So, Oh shit, that's right. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I'm so excited. And I thought I was I thought I was excited about the rose quartz one, and here I am excited about this one now. Come on. Why do they all need work to cut through? Oh, right, ready, ready, ready. Oh, it kind of did work, kind of. Meh. Uh, that's only the end one though, so I'm going to guess the other end's probably better. Maybe. Um, so, a really interesting white line. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll put it right up close. Can you see that white line between the yellow and the orange? And the orange is really horrible. It's dulled down, hasn't it? Okay. Alright, uh, so I don't hate it, but... It's not as defined as I would like. You see that one you can see has actually got like it's darker darker pink on the top. So the colours are very mm, not very vibrant at all. But anyway. Oh bro, what's this one? This is Oh, I know what's going on. Ah, this is discoloured. This is the um, the red berry citrus. Okay, so it does discolour. There you go. That's why the orange looks brown. Right. Okay. That's right. Okay, so we now know. This one discolours, and that explains just about everything. So, alright, well, I mean, I mean, it's not awful. It's cool. I mean, it looks like a drip. It's just... Yeah, it's not quite as defined as I would like, so... It still looks pretty cool though. I mean, you know, it's different. I mean, I've never seen anyone do a sort of a paint drip soap before, so there's that. It'll be interesting to see what it does um, as the air, as, the, as it, you know, oxidises or whatever it does in the air. <laughs> whatever it does, you know. Um, and yeah, to see if it discolours any further, um, or, you know, whether that pink, because that pink has that, are you focusing? <laughs> Not you guys, the, <laughs> the camera. <laughs> yeah, whether this dark pink will go darker all the way up, and whether the orange will go lighter down, or it'll, or yeah, it'd be just interesting to see what happens. What I'll do is when I'm editing this, by the time I edit this, it will actually uh, be cured. So um, I'll chuck a photo in so you guys can have a look and see what happened after the cure. So, but yeah, it looks like, uh, I don't know, it might just be... I'm not sure if they're steric spots or if they're just yeah, there's a little spider, or if they're just um, cutter bubbles. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they were steric spots because I soap very cool and I use palms. So. But um, yeah, I don't know. I can feel them, so they're definitely bubbles. Yeah. Either way, it doesn't really matter. It's only just sort of an aesthetic situation. So, <laughs> but yeah, there you go. I mean, that one's pretty good actually. That's probably going to be. 
I think that was the end that I started scraping at. So I think the other end was sort of, yeah, definitely. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have a look at this. Hang on. The difference between the end I started at and the end I finished at. Look at the difference. That's just like these are so well defined and these are sort of meh. So I could have taken a little bit more time up at this end where there was still a little bit more. I could have probably scraped out just a little bit more and it would have been way more defined like that. Yeah, that's definitely a lot better up that end, isn't it? Well, I guess I know which end I'm taking photos from. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely discoloured. I mean, that was um, Tangelo and... What was that? Cerise, did I say? Oh, can't remember. I've put them away. Anyway, so there you go. So that's the, the drip shaper. That's that's number one. There, Like I said, there is a second one in that do it's only, um, this big long one isn't in it, and I've sort of, um, where is it? I've taken sort of that much off, and then made this bigger, so that they're fatter, and I've also made them so they're not as long. Um, so yeah, so i to go clean these because I've got to take some photos. <laughs> That's getting added to the website today. So hopefully by the time you guys see this, the new website will be up and running and everything will be working. Because if it's not, I'm way behind. Because you're not going to see this for over a month. So, which, because I said, this will be cured by the time you guys see the video. So, all right, we'll have waffled on for seven minutes which is you know a very short waffle for me but <laughs> oh dear all right guys um i'm sorry if you think that these videos are becoming walking talking advertisements for my shapers but you know i mean i made these shapers because i like using them i like the very idea of them so you're gonna see me use them i mean the fact that i sell them is just I'm not using them to sell them, if that makes any sense. I'm using them because I want to use them, but I also happen to sell them. So anyway, I'm just sound like I'm making excuses now. Um, but yeah, so so yeah, so that's it. So thank you for coming along. Um, you can just ignore my shaper fantasies if you like. <laughs> But I'm pretty happy with that, so just, you know, every time, because I'm not very, I'm not very proficient at using them, I can make them like a mofo, I'm just not very good at using them, so I'm really enjoying the process of, of, of getting to know how to use them, and um, creating soaps that are just different from what you normally see, you know, but you know, I mean, there's still, this rose quartz one was still super pretty, um, and then, I mean, that's just a friggin', what was that, an in-the-pot swirl with a friggin' bit of piping on top, you know, and I love that, and I'm not going to change that, so, you know, not every soap's going to be a shaper soap, I had no plans to make any today, so yeah, alright, and now it's been nine minutes, so I'll shut up. <laughs>